What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're starting this one totally different than we normally do. We are just getting back from hunting camp. Two days in the woods with three stankin' boys. What is the odds that any of them grab them fries out of my door in my trap? Oh, What's wrong with you? I gotta pee. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> y'all see those? I don't know if y'all see those antlers right there, but... I really broke my We did some head. damage. You... So let me tell y'all real quick, real quick. That cast smells like beyond death. This dog rolled in something right before he got in the truck. And none of us knew about it until we got on the road. I'm telling you, it's terrible. But there's one good thing we have to talk about. And that is Dr. Squatch is a sponsor to this video, which is pretty fortunate for me because none of us have showered in two days. So we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this soap real quick. And these kids are gonna get a bath because we stank. I've watched him hop around on his foot all weekend long. We got big news coming about Tarzan. He accomplished something this weekend he's been trying to do for a while. Jake accomplished something that he actually does all the time, so it's no new news with him. Now, not only does Dr. Squatch make amazing soap, you can pronounce everything on the label. It's all natural. It smells great. One of my favorite things about it, though, is the scents. This one is Birchwood Breeze. Smell that, Jake. Let me know. Let me know what you think. 10 out of 10. Wood barrel bourbon. Even better. This is my favorite, pine tar. I'll walk you in my shower right now. I got one of these in there right now. You like that one? I want to smell this. That one also smells good. Well, here's a really cool thing. There's one for each of you. Thanks. Y'all go bathe. You stink. Yeah. I call a shower. Maybe not all at once. All jokes aside, the kids definitely need a bath. So some of the other products they make are all natural pine tar conditioner, pine tar shampoo, which Pine tar might sound intimidating, but it's not. I love it. That's actually the bar that I use. They make all natural deodorant, which if you look in the door of my truck, I've got this too. Now I know men can be hard to shop for, and if you're like me or your husband's like me and pretty much has all of his toys that he wants because he buys them himself, get him some soap because we actually, believe it or not, we do like to smell good. And Dr. Squatch is a perfect stocking stuffer. Hey Luke, how's that Dr. Squatch? So one last thing that's super exciting about Dr. Squatch is all new customers can get up to 25% off all orders above $40. So click the link in the description below and use code DSQGABE25. Are you clean now? Yeah. Let me smell your armpits. <laughs> yep, that worked. Did you wash it? I mean, look at this though up close. That's like... Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna start with Jake. We've got a weekend recap. Let's just show him the buck right now. That's what I'm talking about, old son. Yep. He piled up the big buck number two. Now to Abram. Were you excited in the blind this morning? Yes. <laughs> uh huh. I actually told Jake that I have a good feeling about the morning. Yeah, that, that afternoon he's like, I got a good feeling I'm gonna shoot a buck tomorrow morning. So this morning we took Abram to a blind that he actually sat in yesterday evening. Of course we didn't film it. I want these kids to experience hunting without a camera in their face. But Tarzan hadn't killed a deer yet. He's had some close calls. We've hunted a lot, but he hadn't killed one yet. This morning he sealed the deal. But it happened in an interesting way. So I have the blind set up to where you're looking out in front of you at the deer. Well, this deer slips up behind him and with my 25 super short, he had to stick it out the back window of the blind and shoot it at 15 yards. Not even. Not even 15 yards. He busted it. I mean, the deer ate the dirt. He texted me and said, big buck down. Five minutes later, he texted me, don't come. So I had to call him. I'm like, what does don't come mean? He said, well, the deer actually took off running, but he doesn't have any front legs. We had to come pick him up out of the blind. We found the deer. He put a second shot on him. I got to watch him walk up there to the first deer he's ever killed and something I'll never forget. Took it back to camp. Mr. Trevor, who allows us to hunt the place, got to come out and shake his hand and what an amazing weekend. But right now, these kids are gonna go to bed. I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but I'm tired. We have been going hard for two and a half days. Actually, we've been going hard for two and a half years. We're whooped. But we're getting up tomorrow morning because we have had not one, but two hurricanes hit us in the last month. The oceans finally come back down. The boys decided with me that they wanted to come home today, get in the contender, which I got brand new 300s on. We're gonna head offshore and y'all are riding along. Just 
like that, we're headed offshore. Nothing has went as planned this morning. Had serious boat issues. Actually had a fire on the boat. Got that taken care of. Now we're headed out. We were gonna go after tuna and we still might, but we might end up having to catch something on the bottom. It's a beautiful day. The ocean's finally back to being calm again, hopefully for a little while which it's actually not normally calm this time of the year, but we do get some good weather windows, and right now, we're getting one. Gonna end up going about 12 miles offshore. Gonna go to what we call the Hops off of Stewart, push button hill. We're gonna go out to a deep wreck that I have at 500 foot, where I've actually caught some tuna on a vertical jig and try that. Just going fishing. So like I said earlier, we don't have any live bait, but I did grab one pack of ballyhoo out of my freezer before I left. I've got some wax thread. I fold it in half. I'm gonna tie one knot because I'm gonna show you how you can rig a bait to where if you don't have live bait, this is the next best thing. Stick the loop through the hole, pull it out. So now I just got a simple knot to a loop. Just like that, see that? Now I'm gonna take my hook this is a lot easier to do when you're at home, but we're not at home right now. We're out here. I thought I was gonna have bait, but we don't. Pop the eyeballs out, just like so. Now I'm gonna take this bill and break it slowly and pull that little bit of skin out. Here comes the magic. See my loop? Put it over the ballyhoo's head. Open his gills and get it just like that. Now I'm going to take this and come over his bill. Just like so. Lay it down flat. Lay it just like that. Now I got just a single knot. Take this in, put it through this eyeball, that one through that eyeball, make sure everything's straight. I'm gonna take one loop and do one knot. Lay it down flat. When I get it close, I'm gonna fold it up just like so and cinch that knot down. Double it up again. Cinch that knot down. I'm gonna take scissors and cut that excess off right below the knot. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna cut its bill off nice and clean, just like that. Roll him over on his back, squeeze his poop out. Then I'm gonna take him right here, squeeze him just enough to break him loose a little bit, just like that. One good swimming ballet here. Now watch how he'll swim. Got my old salty, 40 pound mono to a circle hook. I'm gonna take this circle hook and go right under that knot, just like that. So it lays nice and flat. Look at that. swimming perfectly. Now, if he doesn't swim perfectly, you can bend him a little bit more, squeeze his back, but you don't want to break the skin. You want him to swim just like that right there. See his tail kicking? Oh yeah. I'll take him out here. I've already got one lure out the back. That's what we call a teaser, but mine actually has a hook in it. I've got another swimming ballyhoo out on that side. And I've got Make sure my drag's loose and then come back here. See this little piece of belly? See this little piece of wire right here? I pin it down. Just pinch it a little bit and that'll keep my line right here. So I wanna loosen my drag because that is a circle hook. When a fish hits it, pops it out of the pin, I wanna to go to immediate free spool and let him eat it. Now we don't know if we're gonna get a bite or not. We're hoping we get a bite. If we don't hear, we're gonna go and do some deep dropping. Look at the fish though. Oh, wow. Look at all the fish. Dang. 
So this is push button hill. You can see all the boats there. We're just fishing. I got this one out about 70 feet, this one out about 80 feet, and I've got my teaser out about, I don't know, 50 feet. Now this style of fishing, you can catch mahi, wahoo. You won't, most of the time you won't catch a wahoo because it'll cut you off, but because it is a circle hook, you can get lucky. You can catch blackfin tuna, yellowfin tuna, big yellowfin tuna. This is exactly how we caught Kelly and I's last big fish in Venice, Louisiana. It's just something easy. You can buy a pack of ballyhoo for about 15 bucks, rig them up in 10 minutes, and be fishing. Fingers crossed. Look, whoa, whoa. What happened to that big old wave on our way out, Lee? What wave? The wave that hit the boat on our way out here. The tsunami wave. Uh, you gotta tell the folks at home, right here. Uh, this big wave, like whenever we were coming over here, There's nothing better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a Mountain Dew. Or a good pickle while you're out fishing. We have had one heck of a rough morning. I got my new motors put on and they didn't put the bait well pumps back on. So I put it back in the water. Well, I was technically sinking the entire time. We went and tried to catch bait. Then I looked and saw that the wells weren't running. And that's when I discovered they weren't put back on. It was just miscommunication too. My buddy bought my motors and he took them off and that's who took the bait well pumps off. So when they put the new motors on, they didn't put the bait well pumps back on. They didn't really know why they were off. That's no bueno when you're trying to go visit them. So, we're out here. Before this boat comes in, we are going to catch something to eat, I can tell you that. There's so many people behind us right on the hump that I'm sort of trying to stay south of it a little bit. The current's coming out of the south going north and it hits this lump and pushes all the good nutrients up and that's typically where the bait fish are. Let's see. I'm about to make a turn and go back over it, but this time I'm gonna go behind the boat. So we pulled in the trolling rods and now we're going to start deep dropping but we got some awesome fans out here what have y'all caught octopus. an octopus what the heck oh hold on let me get closer i want to see this thing how are you going to catch an octopus in 300 feet of water dang we got salty days right here who's a good friend of mine Oh, wait, you gotta throw that thing in this boat. You want it? I wanna see, yeah, I want it. <laughs> All right, I'll swing right on side of you. <laughs> Get him up, son. Come on. Hang on, to him. Launch him. Awesome. Let's see if it'll make. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Where are y'all from? Fish right here, buddy. How you doing, buddy? Good man. How are you, right, buddy? What's up? What's up? Home city, man. Awesome. Home city in the house. We just got a free octopus out of this deal. We didn't even have to catch a fish, and we're already winning. Hey, life's too fun to not pull up and get a free octopus. This video will be out tomorrow, so stay tuned. Now let's show him the octopus. Luke, what do you have? He would be such an. <laughs> Look at this thing. We just got a free octopus, Jake. Yeah. Let's put him in the well. Come here, Luke. Oh my God, he's getting me. Luke, open this well quick. Open it. Let's put him right in there and we'll turn the water on. How cool is that? Well, now we gotta go catch some fish to add to the octopus. So we put all the trolling stuff away. Now I'm gonna rig up a bottom rig and we're gonna see if we can't catch some fish. 
So we just pulled back up. You can see because of Seymour maps, we just came over the hump. Look at all the fish. All right, whenever y'all are ready, drop it down. I'm gonna make them use the electric, but manually. There's one more piece of squid that needs to go on right on that hook. Luke, is there a reason why you brought a slingshot on a boat? Because I want to, instead of using your hands for trimming, you could just get your slingshot with some drum in it. Chew. Like. Fire it down. Take this right here. Bend the rod, pull the rod to you a little bit. Now push it down. There you go. Oh, wow. You can do this kind of fishing with your old broke leg. So real quick, I don't think the folks at home heard you. Why did you bring the slingshot? Because instead of using your hands for trauma, you could just get your own slingshot. Doink. So you use a slingshot to chum with? Yeah. That's a good idea. I'm liking the 300s. They're about 200 pounds lighter and they get a little bit better fuel mileage. Now these are gonna be soft bites, so keep your hand on there. I want it laying right on the bottom. When we're fishing this deep, we're in 306 feet of water. The rod's just gonna go tick, 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 tick. Just light taps. So you guys can see this is my Seymour Maps. This is what we're calling push button hill. It's deep out here, shallow here. The water comes up and shoots up and brings nutrients. And right there on the edge is where we want to fish. That's the edge. You can see the fish. Drop it back. Try to get another one. He just had one hit. We're going to feed it back to him. See if we can't hook a second one. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, he's on there. What you think he's got, Luke and Jake? A big tuna. A fish that's in the water. A yeah. fish. That would be my best guess. It's not looking very big, whatever it is. So I know I get a ton of questions about life jackets. Luke is seven, Jake's, what are you, about 22? Yeah, about he's, that. he's 12, Tarzan's 13. And on a boat of my size, this is a 31 contender, they don't need to wear life jackets. I have life jackets for all three of them and if we need them, we'll grab them. But we don't need them, so I don't make my kids wear them. You got 185 feet to go in case you were wondering. I ain't even sure you got a fish on there. Do you got a fish? Yeah. It was four when we started. I have another off. You ever had your hair get hung in a reel? Yeah. Actually had it last time I went deeper. Thank you. Luke, you want to grow your hair out like that? I like his hair. Stuff. His hair's all crusty from that wave that hit him. Look, look at our shorts. We're matching. Oh, I got to give the folks at home a look at my new kicks. Y'all, that's our bait, by the way. We didn't catch it. We brought it. Look at these new kicks that Frog Togs come out with. So I lost my sandals that I always wear. And these things have holes in them, so they're really cool on my feet. And they're awesome boat shoes. A lot of people don't know this, but Frog Togs has came a long ways. And I have a promo code promo code blue Gabe and you can save a ton of money on all their awesome rain gear and they do have some really really nice stuff Jake let me see the back of your shirt I like it all right here it goes and, uh, uh, vermilion. pull it in Jake a little baby vermilion we got to get bigger than that that's not even a keeper so I just circled back around got set up we're gonna drift right back. Just started marking some fish. Bombs away. Oh, look at that. Lots of fishies. As soon as it hits, click it up. You got one already? Oh, wow. <laughs> he, he said enough of that reeling. Luke, what's new with you today? Any exciting news? What? That's probably the fish that is pulling up. Yeah, it, that probably is. While he's reeling this fish up because he's got a ways to go, I want to show you a clip of me and my buddy Adam from Wyoming. 
Yesterday morning, right before Tarzan killed his buck, Adam shot a big old hog. Listen to how hard this 6'5 Creedmoor whops him. I heard him from my stand. What did you think when that gun went off, Tarzan? Wow! <laughs> that was loud. It said, poo wop! Now the cool thing about this reel, when it gets up to the tip, it'll automatically shut off. It won't let you reel into the eye. Well, nothing's louder than my gun. You got that right. Tell them about that. Tell them about your new 308 AR hitting you in the head. It it literally is broken. It, it literally still hurts. What's the, broken? Your head? My forehead's broken. It's been three days and now it still hurts. So I bought a 308 AR-15 and it looks exactly like Luke's 22 AR-15. So Luke wanted to shoot it and he wouldn't, I couldn't convince him otherwise. It rattled his sphincter, let's just say folks at home. Now we got dinner. Now we definitely have dinner. You grab the weight. Look at that big old fat beeliner folks at home. Him and some grilled octopus will be so good. I would, I've never tasted octopus legs. Jake, have you ever tasted octopus? I've had calamari. That's squid, that's not octopus. Okay. Tarzan? I've had octopus, well, but we're it's about, been at a restaurant. We're about to have it tonight, Lukey. Here, Jake, unhook him. You wanna catch one, Luke? Okay. Oh, you got go, go, one. flip it up, flip Real. it up. Right here, flip it up. No, right here. That's the easiest fish you ever did catch. You might have a few on High there. five, Luke. He's scared to death he's gonna fall in. You're not gonna fall, Lukey. Have faith in your old man. This is almost cheating here, folks. Yeah. All right, hold on, we gotta stop this. Real. 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 Fast. Fast. Bear down on him. Keep going, don't stop. <laughs> Let it back down, Jake. Keep up and down with it. You're doing good, Luke. I just wanted to use the electric to get him up off the bottom out of the barracuda layer. Out of the barracuda layer. Barracudas? Go, Luke. Come on, fast. This fish is going to grow three inches by the time you get him in the boat. That ain't a bad thing, by any means. How many more feet does it say? Oh, my goodness. Go. You got oh, a long ways God. to go. Can I just use... Three hours later. Go back there and get your fish. Here. He's a keeper. Yeah. Pull him in, Luke. Nice one. We're having fried snapper sandwiches. 
it's time to go do something else. We got three nice vermilions. That's all we need for dinner. We're gonna run out to a wreck and 600 feet of water and see what we can catch on a vertical jig. Hey, Abram, we haven't even, but just started fishing. Oh, oh, I just had a heck of a bite. Abram's hooked up. <laughs> what was that? Golly, I just had a big bite. I might have gotten broke off. I don't know. Oh, man, this is hard to go on one foot. Oh, <gasps> you got something big, son. It's an old pirate ship, Luke. You probably got a Look at the fish we're marking, folks, at home. Probably you got your hook on it stuck in that one of those paper logs. Oh! Is there fish on here still? Maybe? No? No, I don't think I have Abram. Any bites yet, Jake? Not yet. Abram's on that little rod. Oh. Maybe that's just my weight hitting. It's hard doing this one-handed. Yeah, that's my weight bouncing. Oh. Yeah, you just went back down. There he is. It's a big tuna. Man. Take your time, Ricky. Here he is. I don't want to get turned around. The heck of a tuna. Oh, there he is. Oh, stand up straight. Stand up straight. Get him, Jake. Good job. Ooh, nice so black fin in the boat. Pick him up, Jake. Oh, that's like I said, that's my first fish on a vertical jig. Nux. <laughs> Boom. We got octopus. We've got vermilion snapper. And now we got tuna. He fought so hard. Ow. Because you had him foul hook. Easy, easy. One nice tuna going in the box. I never show you guys my bean bags either. These are made by Ocean Tamer. I just use a deep drop weight when we're not using it just so it doesn't blow out. Anytime you catch anything fresh, put it under the ice, just like that. Let's drop again. So we just slid right over this ridge and we're down in the bottom right now. Not marking much fish, but we're gonna see what we can catch. Got a 12 ounce lead, three circle hooks, three pieces of squid, bombs away. Abram just dropped a vertical jig. Luke and I are just hanging out. His hair is so crusty. How are you doing today? Good. You haven't had much funny to say today. Means we missed the air show. <laughs> you hear him? I hear him again. I know the water is real milky. You can't really tell by looking through the camera, I don't think, but the water's milky, and that's from the hurricane that went by, what, three or four, day, four days ago? Five days ago? About that. Yeah, the water is terrible. You on the bottom? I just got on the bottom. Thanks, son. You got a big one that quick. Y'all notice I didn't even cut the clip. Put in that rod holder if you want. Let Rodney fight it. Put it in there and let Luke reel it. Okay. Get down there, Luke, quick. Keep some tension on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a big fish. Luke, go, reel. Reel, Luke. Hunk. Go, Luke. 
Oh, that's a tree shaker. This is how you pull it. You're getting him, son. We're in 213 feet of water, so anytime you have a younger man like Luke, just let him fight it in the rod holder. Get your other hand off there, go, real quick. Don't go easy on him, but put it in the rod holder and let the rod holder do the work. Come on, quick, a shark's gonna get him, son. You won't have anything to eat. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a shark. What if it is a lemon shark that we got? Well, we'll have lemon shark for dinner then. Yeah, we can put women on a lemon shark. What about some butter with that lemon? No. Come on, you still got a little ways to go. Bear down on him, son. Go, knuckle grind. Oh, you were, you're gonna, whoa, son, whoa, whoa. Luke, look what you have. I got the rod. A shark. You called it. I called it. I got a shark. Pull him in in one steady motion. Go, Jake. Go. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. In the boat. Baby shark. I called it, Luke. I, I sang the baby shark song. My shark. Let me see, Luke. What you think? You want to give him a kiss? No, he'll butt me. Let's let's put him on Tarzan. Full stop. <laughs> Here. So we want to get. Look, what's the odds of you saying you think we have a lemon shark and it actually being a shark? I don't know. What is this actually? A lemon shark? No, it's just a little. I ain't quite sure what kind. Shark, no shark, or something like that. The one that swims. I almost threw my hook in. Come here. Come over here so they can see in the sun. Can I take a picture? Here. Hold him by his tail. Now, this shark can definitely bite you. Hold him right there. Now, hold him right there. There you go, folks at home. We've caught tuna, vermilion snapper. A shark. What else did we catch? Oh, and a guy gave us an octopus. So. Yep. You want to turn him loose, Luke? Yep. Turn yeah. him loose gently, right over there. <laughs> Gosh! All right, so this thing is. Luke, come here. Yeah. Go. Oh no, we can't go in there. What do you mean? Oh, what? <laughs> These things are crazy strong. Look at this octopus up close. Now, I just reached in the bait well and tried to get him out. Oh, he's so slimy. But he about got me. I can't, I, I don't want to. Yeah. He's on there for you. <laughs> here, look, hold him. Hold him by his head right here. Right here. What did you just pull off of it? I don't like him sucking on me. Come up here in the sun. Come on, Luke. That's so cool. He's so stunning. <laughs> so if you've never held or been around an octopus, that's his mouth right there. And inside there, there's some crazy, a little beak like this. All right, here, Luke, hold him. I was watching a tutorial on how to clean one of them. You have to do it quick, go. Here, get him, son. Don't let him go now. <laughs> Just hold him. Hold him tight. Hold him up for the camera. <laughs> Look at that. That's the gnarliest thing <laughs> ever. You let me hold him. Hold on, let me rinse my hands. <laughs> That's so cool. Here. I want to touch him. Here. Luke, hold on, hold on. Hey, Jim. Oh man, it's so weird. That's so weird. That's so that weird. feels so weird. Get him. Oh no, don't feel no. Man, that feels so Look weird. Look at that gnarly thing in there. 
I wish you guys could like feel it. Just <laughs> put him on Jake's leg. No, if he bites me. Here, let me I'll hold him real quick. Hands. Ooh, and while he's ooh. Here. <laughs> no! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Luke, he's not gonna hurt you. Yeah, let me hold him. Oh, bro, it feels so weird when he's suctioning onto you. It feels kind of good, actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna test one of these cool things. That right, thing's that so is. neat. Yeah. <gasps> oh, man, did you see that? He got you? No, he just like. <laughs> he like that noise is so cool. I know. Oh, oh, oh. Man. It's scraping off. We caught just the right amount of fish. Four beautiful bee liners and a beautiful black fin. Watch this though, folks at home. I don't have my glove. Don't panic though. We will live. This is my big Danko. You don't see me use it very often. Look how quick it just cut through that. Cut that rib cage out. I'm getting ready to cook up. A insanely good dish. Look at that. One nice filet of bee liner. Here comes the magic though. This is the fish that we're all excited about. It's nice and firm because we iced it right. so satisfying cleaning those kinds of fish that don't have like that aren't really scaly right here in the middle hear that pin bone in there mm-hmm look at that though this bottom loin cut it off just like this You know this, man. Look right here. Sort of like a back strap on a deer. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to take this right here. See how I left just a little bit? Mm -hmm. I just keep cutting it until I get it all out. And this last little bit, we'll just carve it out. You do not want any of that in here for this dish I'm about to teach y'all how to make. Oh man. Now, we're gonna do it just like this. That's the size chunk I want. Look here, about right there. I'm looking for pieces this size. I'm gonna wash them off and then I'm gonna go put them in the freezer. I just couldn't help myself. Look at that little appetizer of love. We got some spicy mayo. We got a little bit of wasabi. You guys, this fish was swimming just a couple hours ago. Mmm, Tarzan, come here. Look at that. Actually, we'll lather him up some more. You guys, if you've never ate fish raw like this, you are badly missing out. Open up. <laughs> How? How does everything always fall out of your mouth? You guys, this put, tell me. That is amazing. Insane. Jake, you want some? Yeah, yeah, I'll try some. Yeah. I just don't want any sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Here, put some in the soy. Oh, you said you didn't want any sauce. Oh, yeah, no, that's... Here. Luke, you want some? Uh, not really. I won't make you eat it, trust me. I'll eat it all. How is it, Jake? Mmm, mmm, mmm! That's the only way to eat tuna right there. Tuna by far is my favorite thing in the world to eat. One of my favorite things to eat. So you need fresh basil. To me, there's nothing better, especially how I'm gonna make this little mixture. If you follow along, you've seen me do it before. We're gonna take a piece of tuna. You see these little squares? I froze it. It's 
Now unthawed a little bit. I'm gonna put that on there just like that. Imitation crab meat, right there. The hardest part's rolling it up, but once you get in the rhythm, you wanna tuck it in there real tight. It's like putting Luke to bed. You gotta do it, you know, gently, but, <laughs> but firmly at the same time. Just like that. This little bowl, I've got egg wash. It just helps these egg rolls stick together a little bit more. But can you smell it? You know that's good. Now one thing I'll say is you'll probably never use an entire bag of these egg rolls. So take them, cut them up, and fry them with nothing on them. Then do this right here. Get you a chunk of tuna. Some avocado. Some avocado right here. Look at that, folks. Just a quick snack. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. You do have to stir them or flip them because for some reason they always try to sit on one side. So keep moving them around. Make sure your grease isn't too hot. Because the second they're done, you want to take them out. I like to have a paper plate right here ready for them to go. I'm just looking for them to get that perfect brown color. So this one right here is done. It's all about timing. If you overcook them, the tuna will be completely overcooked. And that's why I like putting them in the egg roll, almost frozen. Mm. We need to fry some fish too. Y'all, yeah. we're on a roll tonight. I think we're gonna take this fish right here. We're gonna take some garlic salt. I'm gonna go heavy on one side because I don't feel like flipping it. A little bit of flour? Yep. Just roll it up. That's all we're gonna do with that. Vermilion snapper is so good. It's such a mild fish. You don't have to do much to it. Look at that. I know some of you folks at home right now are thinking, dang, I'm hungry. Going right in with the vermilion. Regular mayonnaise with some wasabi. It's what we call wasabi mayonnaise. <laughs> we still got a little bit of this spicy mayo right there from earlier. Let's look into this joker right here. Look at that, still rare. Come here, Abram. Now let's see if Abram's capable of taking a bite without either fault dropping it on the ground Nope, I knew he wasn't able to. How good is that? All right, I'm gonna be honest here. I think this is the best thing that I've ever had the old blue gobby make me. Ever? Yeah, blue gobby. Look at that, folks. That Come on, Jake. Amazing. Look, you want to try a bite? Holy cow! You don't want that sauce? That's good. It don't get no better. Y'all, we're just a bunch of hooligans, no shirt, covered in fish slime still. The counter's a mess. We got deer heads all over the kitchen table. Luke's making airplanes. <laughs> Here, Luke. Just regular snapper. It's fried. Come get it. Nothing on it. Ooh, it's a little hot. Actually, here. Come here, Luke. You can try some without anything on it. It's really good. That has no sauce. Is this like a ten ferro roll? Yeah. Yeah. Good. No, you ain't even tasted it yet. You're not allowed to say good yet. How is it now? Good. Boom. Boom. Nuts. Oh, you're coming? You do y'all here, let's see if he can take hold on right here. Let let's <laughs> we're gonna give you one more chance to see if you can actually take a normal bite and not drop anything on the ground or drag anything out in your mouth. 
There you go. Now you get nuts. <laughs> you two have, or three, have fun today? I had a lot of fun. I had a blast. You guys, look at the dishes, though. They're not going to have too much fun washing them. Oh, man. All right, that's it, folks. You've seen us catch it, clean it, and cook it. You know what, though? At this point in the video, I can't believe I forgot. They were probably wondering where the octopus went. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forgot all about the octopus. We need to go get it and clean it. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're lying. I felt bad for that thing. Running in, I'm like, I can't kill it. So we pulled in the inlet near the rocks. I didn't want to turn it loose offshore because a predator fish would eat it on the way down. So we pulled in Stewart Inlet right next to the rocks and we turned it loose. I could not, I just couldn't do it. Ah, he's section onto you. <laughs> let him go. Let him, let him crawl down the boat. Bye. Oh, he's inking. Oh, there you go. He just inked all over the place, Luke. Couldn't do it, folks. If you want to see an octopus catch, clean, and cook, type in Blue Gabe Octopus in the search engine and you'll find it because I've already done one. What I'm doing one today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. Thanks to Dr. Squatch for sponsoring this video. Thanks for each and every one of you for watching it. Right now, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of Dr. Squatch. <laughs> <laughs>